Welcome back to This Guy's Scratch. Today we're going to talk about how does a paint gun work. Whether it's a conventional paint gun or a gravity feed paint gun, it doesn't matter. The same principle applies. It's just applied differently. And we're going to talk about all this coming up. talking about your gravity feed gun or your siphon feed gun like we we have here they all work on the same principle you have your fluid whether it comes down the cup or whether it goes up the hose the siphon the siphon feed tube in the, the paint gun air passes by it makes it to the air cap and it breaks up your paint into particles now, if the particles are too big, it'll give you an orange peel. If the particles are too small, they won't bridge the gap. So what you're trying to do is you're trying to get your paint on evenly. So you, you just want the perfect size atomization. To make your paint surface. When you get this right, it will make for a mirror finish. If you get it wrong, if if the particles are too, too sparse to it, you will have a dry paint job. You won't have no finish because then, then you're taking your paint apart to put it back together and you want the molecules to meet. Once the molecules meet, they will level out. So it's important to have your paint mixed right. It's important to have the right gun for the right job. And for a beginner, you cannot go wrong with this astronomatic paint gun. I cannot stress it enough. It will deal with any component that you put in it. The paint... I'm going to go a little squirrel. Let me, let me explain it like this. So I want to make this explanation as simple as I can make it. So imagine taking this hose here, right? It's a big hose. It's got a big end in it. You got your cup full of liquid. We'll, we'll say it's beer for drinking purposes. You put it in the cup. You, you suck it back. You can drink it. You can deal with it because you're, you're in control of the siphon. That is basically how the siphon feed works. You have your gravity gun. So imagine this. If you, if you have ever uh, shotgunned a beer... This will make sense to you. So you, you fill this up full of beer, pop, soda, whatever. And now you got to deal with it. Or drown. And the same concept works with paint guns. So it's if you have a gravity feed gun, it's very important to have the right gun for the job. And if you're doing, if you're just getting started painting, you may need four or five different guns to deal with the different materials that you're going to have. In Autobot. But you got this baby, it will do every job well. By by its design, it's able to deal with whatever comes up out of the tube. So it makes it much easier for this to deal with any product. This is this is a confidence builder. Now, is it the gun you're gonna stay with forever? No, but for as far as the only thing that matters is results. Just getting started, you need confidence. This is the gun that will get you to where you want to be. Anyways, getting back to uh, whether you're using a gravity gun or a siphon gun, you want to get them particles atomized so that they're in the Goldilocks zone of being just right. And when you get it just right, the end result is a mirror finish. If you get it wrong, if the particles are too big, You'll have orange peel. If the particles are too small, you will have a dry, inconsistent finish. Uh, learning out of body is like trying to eat an apple all at once. You, you can't do it. You, you have to learn step by step, one bite at a time, and understanding is the key. 
If you understand what you're doing, it makes it much easier to do something. All right. So if this video helped you, there's going to be more coming in the series. We want to get you comfortable enough to pull the trigger. So thanks for stopping by this guy's garage. There'll be more videos coming up in this series of how to paint. So thanks for stopping by this guy's garage. You can hit the subscribe button. It'll be right there. You can watch another video right around here. Until the next time, folks. This guy is... Smash the like button!